I'm GNT and today I will be breaking down shin conditioning. I will be discussing my opinions, showing you some drills that will help and busting a few myths that plague this subject. Before I go through anything, I suggest you only start shin conditioning if you have experience in martial arts already as there will be big implications if you lack control and technique. Also, if you are in your late teens, some will argue even later that you don't attempt shin conditioning to a high level as your body is still developing and doing so could cause lifelong injuries. Okay, so let's jump straight into it and say the fastest way to condition your shins is not to kick a baseball bat or a tree. We all have seen the famous kickboxer movie or bouquet kicking down the banana tree, which has ingrained this into our heads, but to get to that level it takes years of training and most still wouldn't risk doing those feats. On my part, I admit that breaking the baseball bat was a silly personal goal of mine. I wouldn't recommend anyone to try and attempt it. Anyways, in order to condition our shins, we need to cause microscopic fractures at the surface of the tibia bone, and as part of our body's repair process, calcium deposit will be brought to the area of the microfractures and will build up through a process called ossification, often confused with calcification. I was definitely guilty of that one. Anyways, this means that bone tissue is built up on top of the damaged bone tissue, which results in a more dense bone. Therefore, it is stronger than before. I just want to add that shin conditioning does not kill the nerves in your leg. It desensitizes your shins to the impact of striking. The truth is you simply get used to it. On a physiological level, your leg is still sending pain signals to your brain. But to a certain extent, you have trained your brain to ignore them. Now you know how it becomes stronger. So here's what I recommend to make it stronger. Firstly, you want to start by kicking something softer than your shin bone, like a heavy bag stuffed with cloth, dense foam, or tie pads. If you are serious about your conditioning, then you want to do around 100 repetitions each leg two to three times a week. Not every day, as your body won't have enough time to repair, and you will cause more damage to the already damaged area. Sandbags are also great for conditioning, but it depends on how you use them. Just like the others mentioned, I would advise to start by lightly hitting higher up on the bag where it is less compact due to gravity and over time gradually build yourself up to the bottom. This brings me to the next point that you should always remember. Too much pain is never a good thing. You should feel it but the pain should always be manageable. If at any point you experience too much pain, then stop. You are not macho if you continue. You are damaging yourself. Potentially to a point where if you continuously train, you will cause yourself long-term injuries. If you want to venture into deeper territory with your conditioning, then some will tap very gently up and down the shin with a rolling pin or stick, usually keeping it to about 30 taps at a time. I never did this until I was training to break the baseball bat, so I don't think this is essential for most martial artists. What I do highly recommend though are set drills or light sparring with protective gear. Now even when professionals spar, they usually do it with shin guards and other protective gear on, so ask yourself why that is. Well from my experience I would say it's because they don't want to bash their bodies around and they know that constant trauma is never a good thing. Never loan for the longevity in the ring or the cage, I'm sure they would want to walk properly for the rest of their lives. Another thing you will probably hear or have heard is that tie liniment will make your bones stronger. It does not. However, it does increase blood flow, reduce pain and inflammation to the area it's applied to. Now I'm not saying to not use it by the way, I'm just explaining the misconception. I personally find it one of the essentials when I'm conditioning or training due to what it does do. I would also like to add that good nutrition will help speed up the repairing process as well. I will probably cover some diets to help you with this and your training in the future. Okay, so repetitively kicking on heavy bags or tie pads will cause microfractures and the calcification of the tibia, making the bone more dense and able to take more punishment than before, meaning we have achieved the goal of conditioning our shins and by these methods in a low risk manner. We can then keep progressing and making them stronger again as we condition over time. Final point, I encourage you to do more research on this subject, there is always more to learn um, just watch out as there are a lot of people out there that make videos on shin conditioning and they haven't done enough research on the subject themselves. That's not a dig at anyone by the way, they are probably just teaching what their instructor has taught them. What I like to do on top of what my master has taught me, 
I go away, find out more, do more research, and then I can see scientifically what I'm doing to my body, and then I can minimize the risks of long-term injury. With all that being said, good luck with your conditioning. Comment below on what you think about the video or your opinions on the subject. Don't forget to subscribe, like, or follow me on any of these. And thank you for your support.